Hello, it's uh, Paul Beckwith. Uh, if you're uh, if you live in North America, like uh, myself, you're probably wondering, uh, you know, if spring is ever going to arrive. Um, I'm in Ottawa, and um, I took my uh, students out uh, recently to uh, dig some snow pits and measure uh, snow layers, ice layers within the snow, snow depth. Um, things like that and basically we have a snow water equivalent of about um, about five five inches or so about 12 centimeters you know in Ottawa um, you know um, two years ago um, I mean it's March uh, what March March 25th two years ago um, we had a whole week of temperatures 25 degrees C um, and warmer uh, people were actually golfing um, the snow had been long gone and uh, there was uh, very little water. The, the ground had actually um, dried out and, and the grass was growing. I mean, now the only grass we uh, see here in Ottawa is uh, this type of stuff here, which um, I'm considering uh, sticking on my lawn. So, you know, you know, it'll be fun because when the snow goes, I'll have like perfectly green grass. Everybody else will have brown grass. You know, and I won't have to worry about watering and grubs and stuff. But anyway, um, I'm basically going to talk about the, uh, base, the the revenge of the purple blob. I mean, humans have been messing with the atmosphere, changing the uh, chemistry of the atmosphere, and the climate system is responding. You know, the statistics has changed, and uh, you know, the the blue bl the purple blob is coming down from the Arctic and uh, wrecking our uh, spring here. So um, so what I'm going to show you is some images from uh, Climate Reanalyzer. If you just Google Climate Reanalyzer, um, look at the uh, forecasts. You can actually uh, just ge you know generate these things yourself. Um, and I did explain them in a previous video. So what we have here is uh, this this here is the uh, temperature anomalies so the purple regions the purple blob those regions are uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius or min which is minus 36 degree Fahrenheit lower than the average so the average is determined at all different spots and this is a this is a um, each image is is a, 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 a frozen uh, picture in time, a glimpse at what the temperature anomaly is around the planet. So the purple is minus 20 degrees Celsius um, from the normal, and the red is plus 20 degrees. Now look, I mean, the Arctic is incredibly warm. In fact, the temperatures for the Arctic o overall are plus, you know, approaching, well, plus over between plus three and plus four degrees. You know, if you go to the higher Arctic, it's even more and it's all over Greenland. You know what's on Greenland? They eh? all that all that um, ice, which will affect sea level uh, when it um, melts. Um, so what we're seeing here is uh, each image is updated. So here we go. We start with Monday, updated every three hours. So this it's pretty cold here right now where we are. You know in North America, you know we've got this this purple blob here, um, and uh, over time it's starting to move southward. You know, it's even impinging on uh, Florida here by Wednesday, of Wednesday the 27th, or the 26th and Thursday. You know, and then, uh, you know, you can see changes from day to night. Uh, you know, it gets colder at night, the blob gets, gets larger. During the day, sun comes out, decreases. Uh, but you can see this thing cycling through. So, you know, here we are Saturday, March 29th. You know, still cold. Um, and, you know, we go from cold to slightly warmer to cold you know this is this is uh this go takes us a week out and here we go we're almost into april and we see another uh in another one coming down so this is this is uh the pattern that we're in right now um these this is showing the jet streams here so the red is high uh speeds this is meters per second so the reds are you know 75 to 100 uh, meters per second the yellows are about 50. This is at the 250 millibar pressure level, which is about uh, 
oh, I don't know, about uh, 250 millibar. It's about eight, nine kilometers high, 10 kilometers. It's basically near the uh, tropopause, which is the border between the troposphere and the stratosphere. And you can see how the, uh, you know, it's moving around here, but you can relate these, these uh, cold temperature regions. Those are in troughs of the wave. Um, see right here, it extends all the way down here. So the cold air has come down from the north and it's covering that region. And you can see that as it cycles along, the pattern changes over here. Um, and so this is a, the, a, a view looking kind of down on the pole. Okay, so Greenland's there. But look how warm it is in the, in the uh, Arctic. And then I've got a global view here. So this is the jet streams. Um, on a global map and you can see how you know fractured and distorted they are um, and if you these give rise to temperature anomalies for the planet like this so a couple things to notice here um, you know we've got very warm Arctic very warm Asia down here in Africa you know, the coldest places with the coldest anomalies are right over here, over North America. So the purple blob is not being very kind to North America. Antarctic, there's certain regions that are unusually cold as well, but people don't care about that, right? Just penguins might. Uh, but this is what people are caring about. You know, I want, where, 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 I mean, this is why, you know, if you want to see some grass, you know, then this is the stuff to go, to, to get. Um, it's the only kind of stuff you'll see for a while. So this is sticking around, you know, at least for the next week into April. So when, you know, what, what, when are we going to get spring? Well, we're getting, these blobs are getting smaller. The purple blob is getting smaller, you know, and that pretty soon will just be in all the reds. And then, you know, if this El Nino uh, event occurs and if the Pacific water is warm, um, we get the El Nino, then, uh, It'll be like flicking a switch, okay? We'll go from purple blob, cold anomalies, to, you know, shorts and beach weather, and too hot, and then we'll start having problems with forest fires, with tornadoes, stuff like, you know, the usual stuff that we get. So, so this is the uh, precipitation, and it also shows the, uh, the white regions is the so, sort of the snow cover area. So, you know, the snow cover is still extensive, you know, over all of Canada, down into parts of the U.S. Um, and uh, the the blue is the snow, okay? Uh, mixed precipitation is purple, rain is green. So what you can see is you can get these nice bands. Like, look at this, March 31st, these nice snow bands coming right across. So this is recycled, now it's March 24th. So you can see, uh, you know, various regions of snow uh, but you can also see that it kind of tracks the uh, the snow line. So where where there's a snow cover, the reflectivity of snow is very high, so it's reflecting the sun away. It's not being absorbed, not heating the air. So the snow regions are colder. The uh, the the region without snow cover are warmer. There's more absorption of the solar radiation. So the band, the sort of separating band between, so you can see the snow here following, tracking along that interface between the white and the brown, between where there's snow and where there's not snow. But the important thing is, is this, we're getting this persistent pattern continuing through into April. So, you know, there's still loads of, uh, of uh, frozen water on lakes. Um, you know, on some lakes, uh, you know, around Ottawa latitudes, you know, we're talking about 24, 30, even more, uh, 30 inches of, uh, of ice cover on lakes. Um, um, and, uh, you know, two years ago, we had massive warm spells and, you know, we had already large warming. I mean, the good thing for the Great Lakes is because they... You know, they had about a 92%, 90% plus anyway, uh, ice cover. And that is going to take some time for that ice to come off. So, um, so we are, there, there, spring is coming at some point. Um, but certainly uh, we're having a persistent winter-like, uh, you know, pattern that we've had um, for the last, uh, well, 
we've had this uh, type of thing pretty much uh, all winter, pretty much since uh, January. So I'll stop here. Um, and uh, so, you know, if people tell you, ah, uh, you know, it's cold, what happened to global warming? Well, you can tell them uh, not to worry. You know, the global climate change is creating this purple blob and the purple blog blob is coming down over North America. Most of the, uh, most of the world is still, uh, you know, warming, warming like crazy. Um, but, you know, climate change is causing, uh, you know, it's causing uh, this uh, weather weirding uh, that we're seeing. So, so I'll stop there and uh, thank you.